Hi, this is Jerry from App.org's IT Consulting Services. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to have your PC automatically log in as a specific user after you restart it. Uh, there's a whole host of reasons why you might want to do this. Um, one, you might want to restart your computer and go off and do something else, or restart it and go to work, or restart it and go home, uh, and you need it to log in. You don't want to wait for it. Uh, apps like Dropbox and Google Drive will not sync um, until the user that the account is associated with is logged into the computer. And I've had people tell me that they, they even though they configured a program like TeamViewer to, to start up and run as a service uh, in the background, for some reason that it, they can't connect to it uh, without the computer being logged in. So that being said, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, first you want to come to the Start menu and click Start. Now I'm using Windows 8 and I'm using a third-party add-on tool called Start 8 which is from a company called Stardock. If you like this type of start menu and want it back and you don't have it, this is where you go to get it. I'll go to stardock.com, product start eight. Now, I'm not getting paid for any advertising here. It's just, you know, this is what I use and I'm helping you out in case you were wondering, oh, how do I get a start menu too on Windows 8? All right, so um, that's enough of that. Um, we got two ways of doing this um, using the start menu. You're going to click run and you're going to type in N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z and click OK. And that's going to bring up the user accounts, this user accounts applet. Um, with the Windows 8 start menu, it's the same thing. You just type in N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z, click enter or hit enter on the keyboard and the same applet comes up. Either way you do it, that's, that's how you get there. Okay. Now you select the user that you want to log in automatically as. And then up here you see users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Uncheck that checkbox. And when you click OK, you will be asked to provide the password for this user. You click OK, and that's it. You're done. The next time you restart your computer, it'll automatically log in as that particular user. This is Jerry from AppDataWorks IT Consulting Services signing off. Have an awesome day.